on the CBS Late Movie. You come here for trouble. Oh, think. I started that trouble 13 years ago. This town is full of people who hate his guts. Don't you want him to stay alive? You mean to tell me you're helping him? That sneaking, cowardly killer who shot down a defenseless young boy? For a man accused of murder who claims he was innocent, a hard road to vengeance lies ahead. Stuart Whitman and Rita Moreno star with Richard Boone as Jack Ramsey. I was reading a medical journal. A man ought to be able to blow up one of these balloons just so much with one breath, according to his size and weight, of course. This is another one of your tricks. No, this is medical science. Thought you were interested in things like this. Here, let me show you. Hold that. According to this, I should weigh about 160 pounds, which I do. Yeah, but are you going to live? Well, I'm not going to die from not breathing. Somebody you know? Rod's familiar. Bassett. Ramsey. Heck Ramsey, who used to be a deputy marshal. That was 13 years ago. That's where I remember you from. You rode for Judge Parker's court. Are you wearing the badge in this town? Number two badge. Now, uh, Bassett, you didn't just come wandering in. No, Ramsey, I didn't just come wandering in. Well, Jamie Red Smith's friends are in town. Or the dedication ceremony. And no friend of hers at all, I'm sure. I'm sure, too. Excuse me. Bassett, you come here for trouble. Folks think I started that trouble 13 years ago. I suppose you do, too. I just heard what everybody else heard. Well, maybe you're going to hear the truth. That's all I'm here for. Virgil Bassett. You know that uh, little Sunday dedication fiesta we're having? For poor little Jamie Redsmith. 
Poor little Jamie Redsmith. Robin Hood of the Cherokee Strip long before this place ever was a town. Well, Virgil Bassett's the man who killed him. Jamie's mother in town, Jamie's old girlfriend, Jamie's old gunslinging buddy, not to mention a few other assorted hero worshippers. Mr. Bassett does not calculate to make things cheerful around here between now and now. Excuse me, Amos. the nerve to come here and dirty his memory. You and him have been dirty in my name for 13 years. Now you stay out of my way, you hear? Billy Jim? Where's me? Just finished his breakfast, I think. What's the matter? Never mind. Tell Burge Bassett's in town. He just went into the hotel. He won't be staying long. Not standing anyway. Never mind that. Just get Lee and tell him I want to see him right now. Yes, ma'am. I should have known you'd be one of the vultures here. Yeah? Well, I'm surprised, but I can't say I'm sorry to see you. Mr. Fuller, I'm sorry, sir. Do you want me to call the police? No, no, everything's fine. Everything is just fine now. Say she ran off. You don't know that. She didn't come home last night or this morning. Her mom and I are worried. Which daughter, Matt? Emily, 16 year old. Okay, Matt, we'll find her. Probably off with some friend and was afraid to come home after dark. Probably be back on the farm when you get there. You don't suppose something happened to her, do you? She's a good girl. I'm sure she's fine. You go on home, Matt. Where do you think she is this time? A lot of men in town. That'll keep. Did you hear that the man who killed Jamie Redsmith is... Well, where is he? What's he up to? The last I heard, he went into Doc Dugan's, probably to get himself cleaned up. I don't care about that. You know what I mean. Well, the Chamber of Commerce has been publishing this dedication for over a month now. He was bound to find out about it. All right, then. I would think this would be the last place in the world he'd want to be right now. Well, so would I, but that just goes to show we don't know him very well. Jethro over at the blacksmith said you were talking to him. Bassett, like you know him. Well, I met him in the old days, but I didn't know him any better than I knew two dozen others just like him. You know him well enough to get him out of town? I didn't think I had the right to know anybody that well. How about a good old-fashioned trunk? He hasn't done anything. Yet. You think this police department ought to go around chasing people out of town because they haven't done anything? They're a threat to the peace of the community? Yes. I don't see it that way, and I don't think he does either. Look, let's not play games. This town is full of people who hate his guts. I'm saying this for his own sake. Don't you want him to stay alive? Well, I think he wants more than that. For instance? The truth is he sees it. Well, he did kill Jamie Redsmith. He doesn't deny that. No, just the way it happened. Now, I've been sitting around here for a month watching this town hoop de doo little Jamie Redsmith like he was some kind of a young god. 
Jamie Redsmith was a snot-nosed little killer and just as crazy as most of his kind. How do you know that? You listened to Bassett, but how do you really know what Redsmith was or how he died? You weren't there. No, but I buried a man he killed. Friend of mine, good friend. Never wore a gun in his life. Wouldn't know what to do with it if he put one on. Red Smith shot him down in a bar because my friend wouldn't have a drink with him. Don't blow any horns for Jamie Red Smith. On around me. Tech? I'm sorry. Listen, even if everything you say about him is true, this is all a long time ago. This town has spent a lot of time and money making themselves a folk hero. That's no different from the way a lot of other towns built up Billy the Kid and Jesse James. And the fact is, Bassett means trouble for us, and letting trouble happen is not the way a police department gets the support of the public. What are you doing now? Running for mayor? I want you to talk to Bassett. Put him on notice. The first time he blinks wrong, we're coming down on him hard. Yes, sir, Chief. And don't just talk, man. Leave it. Oliver, please. Bassett is not a kid, and he won't scare. And if he decides to trade his life for somebody else's, there is no way anybody is going to stop him. Mm. Telegraph office, get in touch with Fort Smith. Bassett used to ride out of there. Find out what happened to him in the last 13 years. Juanito, where's that girl staying? The one that used to go with Jamie Redsmith? How am I supposed to? Because you saw her figures, same as I did. The Ma Rawling boarding house. But I just saw going into the dress shop a little while ago. Bassett, and I'm not going to bother to ask you how you feel about that. See, it's not you that I'm worried about, but that kid that trails along with you. A uh, wild kid like that, uh, he gets out of hand almost anything can happen. Billy Jim can take care of this. Well, maybe, but I figure that you're older, smarter, and I sort of hope I could count on you to be responsible for him. Count on me? Jamie Redsmith was the best friend I ever had. His ma's been like my own ma to me. You side with Bassett, mister. You can't count on me for anything. Well, maybe I will anyway, Skinner. Anything happens to Bassett, and I'm gonna count on you real hard. Surprise. Where's Arthur? Well, he's off on a buying trip to Chicago. Another one? I thought I just got back from one. I know, but he said it was important. Oh, I like it. Do you? I think it looks lovely on you. Miss mm. Ramirez? You know who I am. I'm flattered. Mr. Ramsey. No, it's the other way around. You're real easy to remember. I'm surprised you know me. I'm going to wear the Sunday for the dedication. Do you like it? Yes, ma'am. Real special. 
You know, I think I've got some gloves and a purse that will go perfect with that dress. Miss Ramirez. Lena. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lena. <laughs> Just Lena. You might as well. I'm going to call you Heck. Good enough. Lena, I understand that you used to be... Uh, that you went with Jamie Redsmith at the time that he was killed. Yes, that's right. And that's why you're here. Jamie and I were going to be married before he was murdered. Yes, I'm here to honor his memory. But look here. That was such a long time ago. Is it really necessary to talk about it? Well, it depends. Depends on what? On how you feel about Virgil Bassett being here in town. That can't be. I heard he was dead. No, ma'am. Not yet. And he ain't gonna be, if I can help it. You mean to tell me you're helping him? That sneaking, cowardly killer who shot down a defenseless young boy? I don't know about that. But it's my job to see that nobody causes any trouble in this town. Go away. I, uh, think this purse goes beautifully. I said go away. Leave me alone. I will, Miss Ramirez. If you let me. different size, got a different tone. Also different when they're cracked. Might be able to diagnose that a lot quicker if I can work this out. Where's Bassett? Taking a bath. Mm. You know, we got to talking when I was barbering him. He isn't such a bad fellow. Who said different? Everybody. What did he say about that? Well, when I said uh, we got to talking, uh, I guess I meant I did. Sorry I wasn't my charming self this morning. <laughs> I guess I'm just getting too old for too many days in the saddle. No problem. Good. Why don't you put yourself up a stool? Want a cigar? There's one right over there in my shirt pocket. You celebrating something? You're just rich. Well, you can't take it with you. All right, Bassett. What's on your mind? Well, first off, I wanted to see what your town had in mind. Well, hell, you knew about that or you wouldn't have come. I wanted to see the size of it for myself. I also wanted to see those scavengers men making a living off it all these years. Jamie's mother. For one. And that city sidewinder, Bullen. He's the worst. Oh, the flabby mouth reporter. Report. He'd poison his own mother just to report her death. Well, while you're blaming, uh, why don't you blame the people that publish it? They don't much anymore. That's why he's here. That's the only story that ever made him important. He owes me a living, Ramsey. He took the only one I had. That's it. Suppose they were all dead. All of them. Dead and buried with that monument. Now, how would that change the last 13 years? It might change the next 13, if I got that many. I don't think so. I think you chewed on it too long. Maybe. Well, what would you have done in my place? Oh, not. You could have been. We both wore the same badge. That's right, isn't it? Hmm. Instead of trailing some of those killers you did, you could have been handed the warrant for Jamie Red Smith's arrest. And then what would you have done? I'd have gone after him. That's what I... You're thinking they took my bullet out of his back, huh? No, 
wasn't thinking that at all. Well, they took one out of mine. Nobody knows about that. Nobody cares to find out what really happened. Maybe I understand better than most. But that got nothing to do with my job here. Now, Bassett, if you stir things up in this town, I'll be coming against you. I never heard you were special fast with that gun. If you rode the territory, you know all you need to know about me. <laughs> well, I guess I have. Still, I never heard no town, including this town, where a man didn't have the right to defend his own life. Now, I'm gonna make you a promise. You go against anybody in this town with a gun, and I'll hang the winner. And you better get out of this tub, you're gonna get all pruned up. Myself, I'd be. Penny of words, all I pay myself. I've heard articles syndicated all over the East Coast. Maybe you just ought to send it east. I figure you'll do that anyway, assuming they're interested. This is the kind of background you need before Sunday. It's all about Jamie, the way he really was. My name's Bassett. I want to buy an advertisement in your paper. Yes, sir. Rates a nickel a line. I want half the front page. Just like you gave the invitation to the dedication of that monument. Don't advertise on the front page. That was news. Well, this is going to be too. Sort of. Well, I never realized you were a writer, Bassett. I can let you have half a page three day after tomorrow. Thirty-five dollars. Does your paper come out tomorrow morning? Set for tomorrow. I wanted that morning paper. How much? Have to reset the type. Fifty dollars. You got the ad? I got it in my head. I'd be obliged if you write it down for me. You can have this private if you want it. No, he's not going to be able to lie to anybody who can read. I'll take my money. Penny a word? I want my money now, please. Paying customers first. Mr. Bassett. I wanted those big, bold black letters, like you did for that monument advertisement. Okay. Right. Jamie Red Smith was wanted for three murders in the Oklahoma Territory, just about where this town stands today. Want me to say New Prospect instead of this town? Well, you put it in the right words. Now, you right. I was the territorial marshal. I was handed a warrant for Jamie Redsmith's arrest. The warrant said me to bring him back to Fort Smith. It also said, dead or alive. I ran into Jamie about three miles north of here. I had a warrant for his arrest. And I wore my badge plain for him to see. But he turned and ran. I was wounded. Couldn't go after him. So I shouted for him to stop. He didn't. I shot him. That it? thing. Right. I did my duty. All right, I'll sign it. <laughs> you don't think anybody's going to believe that, do you? No. Well, then why waste your money and our time? Bullard, 
I don't want to cause any trouble in this fine establishment. But the next time you try to talk, I'm going to bust you one right in the mouth. Watch your line. Two thousand words. You know, when you print that story, you know, it's going to be very popular in this town. Maybe so. That's not what bothers me. I'm just wondering if I paid you for a lie while I made him pay for telling the truth. picking those up for? Don't you know what buckshot looks like? There's all kinds of buckshot from all kinds of shotguns. I don't think I can trace that as a bullet, but if whoever did this uses that same shotgun again, I might be able to get a match. Hmm. Look here. That gun was fired down. Whoever did it thought you were reaching for that envelope, and I surely wish you hadn't pawed that thing. You know what difference does it make? Fingerprints. You go along with that stuff, huh? I'll take all the help I can get. Well, if you didn't see anything before, you'll see even less now going back to bed. Juan! Well, there's no mud track in except by me, and I was careful. That means there must have been somebody in the hotel. That could mean that, or it could mean that the killer took his or her shoes off on the way in and put them back on on the way out. The night clerk would have seen that. The night clerk sleeps a lot, especially at 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, we don't usually have these problems in this town. I'm sorry. Next time I get shot at, I'll make a appointment. What are you hanging around for? I'm a reporter. It happens to be my business. Do you have any idea who did this? Yeah, I have a lot of ideas. Whenever the constable stand in this hallway the rest of the night, you're going back to sleep if you want to. Fat chance. Want to meet me for breakfast? I don't need a wet nurse. Hard case, you need something. You're the biggest bullseye I ever saw. Give 
give me a minute. Practical, you're just being friendly. Both. I didn't want to get any mud on your clean carpet. Well, you haven't been out tonight. Why should I be? Well, somebody was. Somebody tried to kill Virg Bassett a little while ago. You don't seem too surprised. Well, I figured you had some reason for being here. Last time we met, I don't recall asking you to come here and visit me in the middle of the night. Oh, man, you surely didn't do that. I suppose you got a shotgun around here any place. Do you believe me if I say no? Search. Well, I believe you about everything, till I get reason not to. Well, at least I didn't get you up out of bed. What do you mean? Well, now, you couldn't lay there in that bed for very long without leaving some heat. I wouldn't think. I wasn't sleepy. Anything wrong with that? Depends on what you're doing instead. Can I see your shoes? My shoes? Ramirez, I am sorry to have disturbed you. Can we just go back to Lena? I'd like that fine. And how about a drink of brandy to go with it? see him kill a man? A farmer once. Was the farmer wearing a gun? Of course. It was a fair fight. Now, how do you call that a fair fight? Jamie was a fast gun. The farmer was just a farmer. I guess I didn't think of it that way then. Do you really love him? How do you answer that 13 years later? If he'd have lived, he'd have turned out a little bit like you, I think. Well, not to look at or wearing a badge. I mean, Jamie was a lot of things, good and bad. But uh, he was a man for a woman. Still frightened. Uh, maybe I ought to stay a while longer.
say nobody was hurt last night. This town was hurt. You were hurt. I know what you're saying, but I think that's an exaggeration. Look, you're just starting to stick your nose into politics. I've been out of it 25 years. Now, do you want my advice or don't you? You know I do. Fine. Now, you were elected police chief. That means you could be elected something else, right? Right. But not unless you put on some show of force so that the people in town will see and understand. What do you mean, show? Oh, I mean action. The saddle ambassador's got people ducking in hallways and looking over their shoulders because they're afraid they might get some wild shot meant for him. That's true, but it's still not his fault. You still don't get the point. Who cares whose fault it is? You get rid of Bassett before he spoils the celebration on Sunday, and the voters will remember you for that. They don't remember whose fault or any of that kind of junk. Look, Bob, I was elected to be police chief, not just to use it. Look, I'm not telling you to go out in the street and do it yourself. Hell, get Ramsey to do the dirty work. It's all he's good for anyway. Leave Ramsey out of this. Well, it's not is it? You didn't want him in the first place. The council stuck you with him. All right, use him. My personal feelings about Ramsey don't matter. As long as he does his job, that's all I care about, and he's doing that. Oliver, this territory is going to be a state before long. And they're going to need congressmen and senators. Yes, and a governor. Now, are you going to neglect a future like that to protect a Nantique like Ramsey? He doesn't need my protection. And maybe I'm not the man you're talking about. Not if that's the way to get there. Well, you're going to have to be the judge of that yourself. No, no, no. You and your friends will be the judges of it. But at least you'll know me the way I am. I wonder if Ramsey knows how much you admire him. Be talking to you. How's that feel? That feels a lot worse. Well, that'll teach you to walk around all night in the wet. Teach me something for sure. Mendoza. After Bassett killed Jamie Redsmith, there was a lot of pressure on him to resign, and he finally did. Since then, he's been drifting from job to job. Night watchman, guard at the bank, riding shotgun for the stage. He's got a job in Kansas now, protecting railroad mail. Where's his wife? She took the two sons to a folks place in San Francisco about six years ago. Still there? Huh? Huh? Quite possibly. What else? Well, nothing more about Bassett. About what, then? Emily Yuka ain't been home yet. That makes two nights. And she stole $20 from under her ma's mattress. Her folks tell you that? Her ma did. Pa says no. He says, uh, she didn't count it right. I'll start looking for her. Okay. What's that? Got it from that Los Angeles middleweight when he was here to fight. Billy Woods, remember? Mm -hmm. That's getting hot. It's supposed to. Hey, Doc, wait a minute. I'm burning up. You don't want any more? Not on my back. I'd rather drink it. Ah! Ah! Oh! God! Mean! Ah! sit down we've never liked each other so let's not waste time pretending what do you want one of two things you're a very attractive woman to look at first just how long do you intend nesting on my son's grave you say that to me is that your answer? No. My answer is that it's none of your business what I do. 
He was my son. I think it's very much my business. All right, then. You'll be seeing me at all of these parties until something better comes along. Which I'm sure is part of your plan, too. I guess knowing my son as well as I did, I shouldn't be surprised that he took up with a border tramp. Maybe he wanted someone to remind him of his mother. You don't expect me to believe that you really cared for him. I wouldn't expect you to believe there's a God. Yes, I cared for him, in a way. Felt sorry for him, in a way. The times he cried in his sleep at night. You and how many others? You really hated him, didn't you? I knew my son, little girl. Well, no matter now. Number two, then. As long as you're going to be around, I think we ought to talk over what each of us will say at the dedication. Just so it sounds right. I'm going to say he was wonderful. What are you going to say? I came here to talk business. No, if you'd rather not. Stella. Let's talk business. <laughs>
say for sure, Heck. These are some of the pellets they shot at that Bassett fella, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Probably have something like it in stock right now, but haven't sold any buckshot in some weeks now. Not much call for it. Well, it must come into town with whoever brought that shotgun. It's likely. You found that yet? Nope. Our visitors bought any plain old guns? Funny, not till this morning. You know that good-looking girl who said she used to be Jamie Redsmith's girl? Lena Ramirez. Oh, that her name? Mm-hmm. Well, she was in her morning. About a 45 Colt. Not a gun for a woman. Afternoon, Ted. Heck, do you have a minute? When? Can I talk to you? Yeah. All right, there's two things. You know, Arthur Lambert went up to Chicago again. Mm hmm Took the stage to Perry, where he gets the train, like he usually does. So? So I was just down at the stage depot talking to uh, Hank Anderson on some other business, and he told me Lambert only bought a one-way ticket this time. That make any sense? No. In the dress shop talking to Grace yesterday. Did she say anything? Only that he was gone. I suppose it's none of our business either way. Hey. Now, you said there were two things. What's the other one? The other one is, how would you like my job? Lena Ramirez bought a gun this morning. You want to keep an eye on her? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, what are you stewing about? Just what I said. You always felt you should be the boss around here anyway. Don't try to deny that. I'm not interested in trying or denying. I'm just interested in being my own boss. I think I'm pretty much that. You quitting? No, but there's a damn good chance I won't be reelected in November. That leaves it wide open for you. Well, I'll meet you head on for the job. If that's what you want. It's got something to do with Bassett? <sighs> yes. Pierce wants me to railroad Bassett out of town, make us look good. Make me look good for the voters. And you turned him down? Did you have to ask that? I didn't ask it, I said it. Oliver, I know you want this job and the next one, mayor, territorial governor or something. What's wrong with that? Nothing, except it don't seem to be making you very happy. Just wish to God Virgil Bassett had never shown up, that's all. Well, it might just turn out to be a good thing for you, he did. Yeah, it just might. See, you got some funny ways about you. A couple or three of them I don't much like. But you're a young fellow with a lot of ways to go. And how you choose those ways is going to decide whether you're one kind of a man or another. Up to you. And I got work to do. say, Dale, is that our interests are similar. We do better to be together. No secrets from each other. I don't keep any secrets, Bullet. I don't have any. Everybody knows how I feel about Bassett. Everybody knows how well you act, Dello. There are a few of us who know how you really feel, especially me. I know how you really feel about your son. Oh, don't worry. I won't damage the legend of Jamie Redsmith. I made him up, remember? And it's still paying for your whiskey. Remember that. Well, not as well as it used to, Dello. Not as well as it's paying you right now. He was my son. He was a little monster. He lied, he cheated. He killed. Della, the last time you saw your son alive was when he pistol whipped you because you wouldn't give him your savings. What do you want? Same as usual, money. Don't be stupid. 
I get invited to celebrations like this. They pay my way in expenses. No one gives me any money. You haven't spent a cent of those expenses, plus the gifts. You can't blackmail me without cutting your own throat. Now, you know that. Carlo, I'm bleeding already. I've got nothing to lose. Well, we'll be leaving on the stage right after the dedication. We can talk some more then. Well, I think I need a little more than that. Well, I'll be in my room after supper. Don't try to kill Bassett again. He's more worthwhile to us alive. Oh, you think it was me? sit around drinking with back shooting murderers. Now, if there was one real man in this town, he'd want to see justice. Please, Mr. My son's lying in the grave and he's walking around free as you please. Now, please. Oh, let me be. I won't bother your business anymore. The pity is my poor husband isn't alive to do what ought to be done. Well, I won't stay in the same room with the likes of him. All I want to do is get out of here and wash off the stick. <laughs> business, but I'd rule out the women. Shotgun's too big a weapon for a woman to handle. Yeah, but if you're only going to get one shot and you figure you don't shoot too good, shotgun's not bad. That's true. Hmm. Thank you, Sue. Oh, Sue, Sue. Hmm. You're a good friend of Emily Euchers, hmm? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea where she's been the last few days? No, sir. I haven't seen her at all. Well, I know that. Nobody's seen her. Have you heard anything? I don't bother with her anymore, Mr. Ramsey. We had a fight. Oh. Sure. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> now, what were you fighting about? She wanted me to lend her money. What for? She wanted to run off to Chicago. I told her I didn't have any money, and she got mad. Why Chicago? You know something about this? I know my supper's getting cold, and so is yours. So, why Chicago? So you've never been in trouble in your life. I don't start now. Emily was having a baby. Whose baby? I don't know, Mr. Ramsey. I swear, I asked her, but she just didn't tell me. Yeah, really, thank you. It's fine. Thank you. Now, you knew she was pregnant. Two months gone. And why the hell didn't you tell me? Because what I know about one of my patients is nobody else's damn business, oh, including you. It's just fine. That's just dandy. Sitting here breaking bread with me, drinking beer with me. My friend! I don't tell people about your bad back, either. My bad back is another thing. Not to me. Did she say whose baby it was? She didn't say. I didn't ask. Did she say what she was going to do? Yep. What? I'm not gonna tell you, heck. I mean that. Come on, break 
it out. Come on, little girl. Billy Jim kid, he's dead. Shout in the back. All right, one, get him out of here. All right, all of them. Moving. Let's go. Get out! He's in. Come on. Let's go home. Let's go, folks. Come on. Let's go. Let the doctor go. Must be the piece of use to try and get Bassett. Where is Bassett? That's what I want to know. Sergeant? Yes, sir. I'll find him at 20th or like this. Take it back to the office. Hmm? Right One shot killed him instantly. I want the bullet. Who did that? We don't know yet. Oh, maybe you don't, but I do. And maybe you don't want to know. Take it easy, Skinner. I don't take it easy, mister. Not anymore. Now, hear me. We got enough judges and enough juries around here without you. Now, you take yourself on home and take care of yourself. Get out of here! You could have grabbed him without hitting him. He tried to hit me! You're supposed to be a police officer. It's one of the things I don't like about you. trying to figure out what happened. How are you doing? I'm not. Got the bullet I took from the kid. Well, that's a 45 caliber slug. It figured it wouldn't be something special to make it easier for you. Bassett wears a 45. Yes, yeah, so does Skinner. Ramirez's girl bought one this morning. And what do you want to bet? Della Redsmith and Bullard have some 45 iron around. Well, I don't know about the others, but you saw Skinner. He wouldn't have killed his buddy. Well, he'd have had to act like that even if he did. Bassett's riding into town. I suppose. That's right. Well, you couldn't have been riding too far or too hard. His horse don't show no sweat. Haven't been in any hurry. I want you to step down off that horse. Why? I'm arresting you on a charge of murder. Murder? Who? Would you step down off the horse?
Francis Gunn didn't kill him, at least not the one he was carrying. Hmm. What about the others? Well, Della Redsmith's got a derringer she's probably never even used, and Bullard says he doesn't own a gun. Do you believe him? It not make any difference if I do or not, if I can't prove otherwise. I don't suppose Skinner... Uh... No, this is Skinner's bullet here. No good. You don't suppose there's somebody that lives in this town that wants Bassett dead? I'll tell you one thing. The shot at Bassett and this killing tonight, there was no heat or anger in either one of them. How do you know that? The shotgun. There wasn't a fingerprint on this thing. Not even Billy Jim's, and he was supposed to be carrying it. This thing was picked up and wiped clean as silk. I'll tell you, this whole operation been done in cold blood. And I'm getting mean enough to bite somebody pretty soon. Where have you been? She says she's been out walking. Walking where? Anywhere I want. You've got no right to drag me in here like this. Her gun been fired? Hey, yes, sir. Well, I'll dig that out of there for me. Amos is going to have to excuse me. It's a pleasure. Get past it a hot meal. Huh? Yeah, it's about that time. Sit down. Stand on your head. I don't care. You didn't kill him. Disappeared? Now you know better than that. How do I know it? Because you left my place all warm and gentle this morning, then had me dragged in here like a tramp. I went to your place an hour ago and you weren't home. I told you last night I was afraid. That's why I bought the gun. I went out to use it a little so I'd know how. That's where I was. Hmm. And why haven't I seen or heard from you all day? Well, I had to sleep some part of it. And as for the rest, well, it was one of those days. I don't believe you. I'm taking the first stage tomorrow. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. Why not? Well, uh, partly because of last night. Partly? And the other parts that I couldn't let you go. Well, you can't stop me either. Oh, yes, I can. I have the right. You see, somebody killed Billy Jim trying to make it look like Bassett did it. Now, that somebody purely hates Bassett. And since that is the case, you qualify. Are you saying that I'm under arrest now? No. Luna, I don't suppose you'd like me to come by later. This way. I know where you are. Everybody else does. Less chance you get shot at. That's not the law. You gotta charge me or let me go. Uh, not before morning, then. Don't tell me about the law right now. Chief Stamp and the city council are meeting. They would like to try you now, convict you in a half hour, and hang you tomorrow. I bet. Well, don't worry about it. I know you didn't kill him. You do? Well, thanks a lot for telling me, Ramsey. Now, why don't you go outside and tell everyone else? Well, if that kid had come after you, you wouldn't have tried ghosting. Well, I'm glad you know that. Well, it's just sentimental. Also, I know that you would not have blown out your own hotel door so that you wouldn't have the shotgun to leave by that boy's body. Well, that sounds like your old self. Well, you can't be too careful. Enjoy your supper. And uh, get some sleep. Can you give me 
giving you any trouble? No. Nope. The council wants him held till after the dedication tomorrow afternoon. You tell them that's against the law? I dodged a little. I just said we'd hold him if there was any hard evidence. Is there? How about the bullet Doc Coogan took out of the kid? We can't match it, and by now the killer could have stripped that weapon, scattered the pieces all over the place. One. The telegraph office sent the Chicago police a description of Emily Euchre. Tell them she's underage and she'll probably be going to hospitals and doctors. What's she doing in Chicago? Emily Euchre run off because she got herself pregnant. Who from? What difference does it make? I'm going home trying to get some sleep if I can remember how you do it. Good night, Oliver. Arthur Lambert. Remember, Arthur Lambert bought a one-way stage ticket to Perry. From there, he was going to Chicago. Do you think there's any connection? Yeah. Maybe it's just a coincidence. No coincidence. We couldn't be that lucky. If it's so, it's not our fault. If it's so, Arthur Lambert's going to be our prisoner, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. I guess that's right. I don't care anything about him. But who's going to tell his wife? I suppose that's my responsibility. No. She doesn't know you well enough to cry in front of. I'll do it. Tomorrow morning, you might ride out to the Euchre farm and tell Emily's folks about it. Yeah. Look, we're just guessing. Maybe it isn't so. Sure. Tomorrow's Sunday, and maybe Arthur Lambert will be in a Chicago church. Maybe Emily Euchre will be in a penny arcade playing games and eating candy. And maybe I'll grow a tail and run in the Kentucky Derby. Good night, Oliver. thing we eat when we're on duty here. I don't care about that. Ramsey makes his own rules. You know better than that. Now, I want out of here. To do what? I don't have to give you any reasons. What did you have in mind? Did you think we'd let you shoot somebody else? Somebody else? You think if I kill that kid, I'd come riding right through the center of town? Yeah, if you wanted it to look the way you're saying it now. Listen, I'll make a deal with you. You turn me loose. And I promise you, I won't hurt anyone. I'll even leave my gun here. Guns are cheap. They do have something in mind. What? I'm sure of one thing, Bassett. You're either guilty of what you did, or you're guilty about what you're planning to do. You start locking up people for what they're thinking, you're going to have an empty town, mister. Rams is your friend. Why did you think I'd go along with you if he didn't? Because he thinks with his nose. I thought you had a brain. Was he always this way? I mean, in the old days? It was way to be in the old days. If you got your man, the law was right. If he got you, the law was wrong. No one much cared in those days. Are you still trying to figure Ramsey out? I have to work with a man. Even if you don't like him? I didn't say that. He does his job, that's all I ask. Well, from what I used to hear, there's a lot of sorry men and a whole lot of crying women been trying to figure Ramsey out for a long time. So I wish you a lot of luck. Hope you like your breakfast better.
my fault. He wanted a child so badly, and I couldn't give it to him. Oh, I tried. I tried. We heard from the Chicago police this morning. Arthur tried to marry her, but the justice of the peace knew that she was underage, and he reported them. What will they do to him? Well, they'll hold them both in Chicago till we can send somebody to get them. Well, I don't want to see him. I'll just leave. Grace. He's probably going to go to jail. Now, Arthur has made a damn fool out of himself. He probably knows that already. But he's going to need somebody real bad. I'm not suggesting that you don't have the right to want to be rid of him. But you might want to give it some thought. Now. You know. Give it some thought. Thank you, Heck. Miss Ramirez. You decided to go anyway. Why not? Would you like to escort me, Mr. Policeman? I might be planning an escape. I'll try and get there about the time the talking's done. I'm sure you'll be missed. Lena! came there working. But that is not the reason I stayed. And you'll be leaving right after the ceremony? Yes. Then... I'll be sorry to see you leave. You tell Mrs. Lambert? How'd the Eucharist take it? Matt took it hard, but his wife seems to have expected it. Did you release Bassett? Where is he? Went straight to his horse, rode out of town. Out to the dedication? No, the other way. Did you send somebody? To do what? Keep an eye on him. See if he's up to something. Oliver, I'm trying to tell you that Bassett is not one of your schoolboys playing hooky like when you taught school. Anybody I could send to follow him, he could handle and he'd have the right. We can't just assume he's going to do nothing. We're not. Mendoza and Tom are already at the dedication site, and pretty soon, you and they'll be there, too. What's the matter? Well, right here is the spot where that kid was killed last night. I know. Why? You think of something? No, I didn't think of something. Not last night and not now. Now, the kid must have been facing the back of that alley. Killer came up behind him, shot him in the back, threw the shotgun down to make it look like the kid was the one that went after Bassett in that hotel, right? They figured all out last night. Now, the killer wouldn't have gone back toward town because that shot might have attracted folks. He would have gone down here to the end of this alley where he could... could... <laughs> What is it? Am I that dumb, or does it matter? What? The shotgun. What about it? The killer didn't mean to use the shotgun, but he had to make it look like Billy Jim intended to use it. I don't understand. He would have loaded the shotgun, and he wiped the barrel clean and the stock clean. He might not have been that careful with those buckshot cartridges. He didn't check the shotgun load. It hadn't been fired. Well, I... Nobody's perfect.
Looks like powder. I wonder what Coogan would give for his theory now that it couldn't have been a woman. town that a man could miss it and not care. Well, they don't serve the drinks till after the speeches. You see anything? Hmm. Careful, Doug. Huh? It's snuff. That's all? No, there's a little cocaine mixed in. Okay. The drug? Rich man's poison. Put it in an envelope. We'll need some search warrants. Judge Harper is probably out of dedication. Well, just get his okay, and uh, we'll fill out the forms later. That's not proper. A killer will be leaving right after the dedication. You think that's proper? How many we need? Uh, Mrs. Redsmith, Bullard, Skinner, and the girl, Lena Ramirez. Uh, okay, well, I'm Bassett, too. Tell one, keep an eye on him. I'll see you at the hotel. All right. Okay. The old lady. Tell her why not Lena Ramirez, or Skinner, or Bullard? Snuffing cocaine? Kind of an old lady habit. Doc, one of these days you're going to be right, but before you say I told you so, remember all the times you've been wrong? Yeah, well, if you're so smart, how come you didn't break open that shotgun last night instead of waiting until this morning? Because I didn't think of it. Heck! You still got that bastard fella in jail? No, I'll turn him loose this morning. That's what I heard. You rented a flatbed wagon and team from me last night and paid in advance. But I wouldn't want to think he's gone off and not coming back with him. Not likely. Why didn't you tell me last night when I arrested you? Didn't know. I sleep so early. Because <laughs> I work early. <laughs> Pass it say why he wanted the wagon. No. But you think it's going to be all right? You going to shindig? You think it means something? Well, I can't afford to think it don't. What? Like you're so fond of saying, I'm not that smart. Come on, Boots.
and that those of us who built this community with their bare hands can be proud of its heritage. It was a wild and heathen country. Jamie Redsmith first rode through here, ruled by savages and renegades who despoiled the land for their own greed. Jamie Redsmith was hard and resourceful. It was to defend his life and honor. And there's no man here who can understand that. down in the prime of his life, never to be forgotten by the family and friends he left behind. With that in mind, it's my pleasure to introduce the one woman who knew him better than anyone, the woman who bore the child and raised him to the man he was, Jamie's mother, Mrs. Della Red Smith. my friends, but more important, you are my son's friends, and I appreciate that very much. If my son had lived, he probably would have lived here among you because he loves this land. not a good boy in the way you think a kid ought to do the things his folks tell him. No, my Jamie had a mind of his own. But he was a kind boy and generous with the little he did have. Because my late husband, God rest his soul, worked hard to the last day of his life. to be revealed here today, Jamie Redsmith will be proud and alive and an inspiration to them all. Thank you, thank you. And now, we shall continue with Ladies First, as it should be. It's my very special pleasure to introduce the young woman Jamie loved and had planned to marry and live his life with. And it's not surprising that she had never found another like it. gentlemen of New Prospect. We have only known each other just a few days, but you have so kindly made me feel that your home is my home. You know, if Jamie had lived, it might really have been so, because Jamie was only close to plain folks. Shut up, 
Holmes, I'm really sorry to bust things up, but as you all know, we had a killing in town last night, and now there's some new evidence come up, and it's just gonna have to be first things first. You saying he killed Billy Jim? Just easy, Skinner. We'll take care of him. me down don't think i wouldn't like it you killed her now you just stand still right there doc she gonna be all right cracked her skull but she's got some chance move aside ramsey i'm all right ramsey i can handle it i don't care if you're ready to dance i was my prisoner and you're gonna behave yourself raise your hand skinner you want a back shoot go ahead i want bassett now there is nobody going to shoot nobody here. All that's going to happen is I'm going to walk over there to you real quiet and take your gun. No, you ain't. You ain't fast enough to take my gun. You might outdraw him, Skinner. Well, if he gets a shot off, you're dead. him in a cell. Chief. You too, Ramsey. I'd like to see you in my office first thing in the morning, if it's convenient for you. You got a way back to town? I was thinking of walking. Well, would you like to double with me? Not in this dress. Well, then why don't I just get my horse and we'll walk back together? Say, uh, why don't you leave tomorrow instead of today? What for? Busy most of the rest of the day. Ramsey, you have got your nerve. Well, I just ask him. I don't always expect to get everything I ask for. Well, will you take me to supper? Yes, ma'am. Come pick me up. Yes, ma'am. charges against Bassett. She's not. I'll want get him down here, will you? Uh, you can thank Bob Pierce for that. Oliver, you're not gonna ask me to thank Pierce for anything. You can do what you want. It was Pierce who talked her out of prosecuting. He said it would mean a court case and that would give Bassett a chance to make a lot of speeches about her son. Bassett signed it. Well, she doesn't want any more of that. Uh, he still owes for the monument and the wagon he busted. Well, I think most of the people around here just soon forget about the monument. 
And he'll pay for the wagon sooner or later. Walt would rather have it sooner. I'll sign a note for the wagon. That's it. Your gun's in the top right-hand drawer of my desk. Juan, let's go. Tell Doc Coogan not to close up. I need his help. You owe for the wagon. I'll settle what I need. You are saying I can leave. Can leave? I will kick you through the streets if you do not leave. Pass it. Do you ever think about visiting San Francisco? Who told you about that? Well, it doesn't really matter who told me about it. Man, father's kids, he ought to show them what he looks like every once in a while. Hmm? Yeah, he sure ought to, shouldn't he? I was looking at Bullet up there. His gut's rotten. His face is empty and dead now. I suddenly felt that's where I'd been these past 13 years. What's going to happen to him? He's confessed, but he'll get his trial. He'll probably hang for killing Billy Jim. Maybe you'll be doing him a favor. Thanks a lot, Ramsey. Chief Stanton. You know, Hank, we should have guessed it was Bullard all along. How do you figure? Well, he was the one who had the most to gain, really. You know, it was pretty much like things the way they were, but uh, Bullard needed a big story to get back on his feet. It's always clear when you're looking behind. Doc says he's close for the night. He's close? Now, that horse doctor is... He's not... You tell that horse doctor... I'm not gonna close up. I'll tell him.